Guess what, everybody? I saved up 36,000 shark teeth so I could buy the new wildfire boat and check it out. This new wildfire boat is insane. The speed is absolutely ridiculous. If we check out these incredible stats, you can see the full speed is entirely available. That's exactly what you need if you're going to face the Megalodon shark. Watch this. I'm going to pull up the Megalodon shark stats. You can see, boom, full speed, nearly full speed. And we're going to be able to catch up, keep up, and surpass the shark. And that's the whole idea is with this wildfire boat, I am going to try and be faster than the shark. So I can't wait to purchase this thing and give it a try for everybody. Currently I use the jet ski boat, which is really quick. And the, my favorite part is the agility. I think I absolutely love the max agility because what it allows me to do is maneuver around the shark as it's spinning around. And nothing really compares except for some of the off sale items, the highest speed with the full agility is going to be the snowmobile. So maybe in the winter time, I'll be able to purchase that. But in the meantime, I'm going to give this a test and see just how good is full speed. All right, guys, this is it. Buying the wildfire. Here we go. It's purchase time. Oh, baby. And it's equipped. 36,000 shark teeth spent. It took me a long time to gather that much shark teeth. I'm telling you that much. We just go to set it on fire. We are on the wildfire boat with a wild chase to take down the shark. I can't wait. Ooh. Let's see what this thing tops out at. 160? Sheesh. That is quick, man. I am ready. Oh, I feel fully confident. Oh, it's the fast manatee or whatever. We'll see how we fare. The mobility? I don't like so much, but... Ooh, that's an angry shark. Snipe it. That's the skill. Aim underwater. That's how you win. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if the shark hit me or what. I think I might have hit some debris. It's hard to see with the jet. I'll say the jet is a little hard to make it see the shark underwater. See, look, I got eight up because I was trying to shoot, but I couldn't find the shark. Let's give it another go before I give this a, a full evaluation. I'm upside down. Why can't I hit him? There we go. Well, at least it can course correct if you go upside down. Ugh. Ah! He's just waiting for me to get flipped over. All right, so I've showed you the speed of the boat, but what I want to show you is the maneuverability. Here's me taking a hard right turn at full speed. I'm able to do a pretty good circle. I've got a lot of drag there though. It probably takes about the same amount of time, but I cover a lot larger area than if I had the jet ski. See, look, I got upside down, no problem. This boat's fast enough that you can correct that by flipping it over in reverse. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see how it handles hitting an island. Let's try that real quick. Woo! Yeah! I mean, <laughs> Kind of disappointing there. Oh, look, I'm upside down, crossing an island. What? Uh-oh. I hear the shark. I better keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Man, don't I look sweet in this boat? Yeah! Let's find that shark. Now I got the shark here. I'm going to try and hit it. It's just so hard to see with the jets. I'm highly disappointed in the jets, even for the shark that's mostly standing still. Let's go. Go, 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 go. trying to get the shark, but it's just so hard to see around these bubbles. There it is. Alright, let's turn around and see if we can find it. This is just so frustrating. It 
it's really hard to hunt down the shark with this boat. I mean, sure, it's fast, but the visibility is knocked way down. It's just so hard to see underwater. I hear the shark, but there it is. Man, it's just so hard to, to catch. Maybe if... I'll tell you what. My play style probably isn't this... My style of play probably isn't good for this boat. Like, if you were just trying to run away from the shark, this is exactly the boat you would want. I think it's going to be great at evading and maneuvering around the shark. But as far as being able to kill the shark, no. You've got this jet spraying from behind. You can't see a darn thing. I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's just for show. It's a showboat, as they say. And that's really about it. Like, if you just want to coast through these uh, games and stay alive without hitting the shark hardly, more power to you. But this just isn't for GW, guys. This is my final recommendation, is I still prefer the maneuverability of the jet ski, even though this boat is faster. It's just straight up a whole lot better to work with the jet ski to take down the shark. You gotta take down the shark because that's what gets you shark teeth, not just surviving, and that's the whole point, fellas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please so hit that subscribe button. Hit the like if you enjoyed the review of the wildfire. And I gotta tell you guys, jet skis where it's at. I'm equip I'm going back to equipping it. I don't care if it's slower. It's so fast in terms of agility. That's what I am looking for as a player. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you really thought I missed this mark here that the wildfire is superior, I'd be happy to hear that in the comments. Until next time, we'll catch y'all later.